Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Quantum Leap for CK2. So, I have good news. I am drinking tea. Tea. It's a new year. <laughs> it's like a... <laughs> People are going to laugh at me because I'm going to be trying to avoid drinking Mountain Dew as a New Year's resolution that will undoubtedly fail, but until it doesn't, I'm going to... Uh, or until it does, I suppose. I'm going to be drinking tea as an alternative, which is weird. It's weird drinking a hot beverage instead of a cold beverage. So I've tried, I've tried green tea, and I've tried black tea. Basically, I'm just trying to replace the caffeine content while avoiding the sugar content. So, where we left off last, we were King Cyanfower, the Unready, of Gwynedd. And I, I declared a war on Aquitaine because we had a claim for it for some reason. And our former character, the annoying King Rainbutt, well, he's not our former character. King Joffrey was our character, but King Rainbutt, the heir to our former character, Decided to defend the Carling Dynasty and protect against my invasion of Aquitaine. So we're fighting against a seven-year-old. Uh, we actually cannot kill him, uh, at least not effectively. We also can't kill Rainbutt. I, I know his name is not Rainbutt, but that's just what I'm going to continuously call him. Let's go ahead and set him a special interest since he is a previous character. We also had a previous character over here who I've already pretty much forgotten about. The guy that we uh, played before was uh, Duke Susimir. Is this? Yeah, I think this. I th no, I think this is this is us. I think we got blinded. Yeah, that, that, that looks right. Yep. So he died, and then uh, apparently this guy was already died, and now his daughter is in charge. Like it's just a bad thing. Bad things are going on over there. But um, what can we do? So I did notice that um, we can kill his wife, Rainbow's wife. She's a bit messed up, homosexual. Possessed, you know, 318% plot power. Let's kill his wife and see if uh, there's any way we can use that to our advantage. Why? Why might that help? Well, if he if he picks up a new wife, there's a chance that this wife won't like him, and she might be willing to kill him. Also, um, his state attributes will go down after she's dead. So there's a chance that he'll pick up a woman with lower intrigue, or that we might be able to kill him during the interim while he doesn't have a wife and his state attributes are lower, making him weaker to my plotting. So there's there are reasons to kill his wife, aside from the fact that I just like to kill people. Um, one day at the market, a strange man comes up to you and offers to sell you what he swears is a finger of St. John the Baptist. You look at it carefully, and it does indeed seem to be some to be a set of old human bones. I must purchase this holy relic. Or I can say, this can be anyone's finger. Well, we're zealous, and I feel like that's working for us. So let's go ahead and purchase the relic. Yeah, buddy, we own a holy relic. Now, Aquitaine himself, little king man here, he's very weak. We could easily crush him. Um, but France, Rainbutt, uh, we, we've certainly put him into a powerful position. So without killing him, it's going to be very difficult to win our little war here. It is possible, however. The only problem is if we lose... And you know what I think I'm going to do? There we go, the plot just fired. I am actually going to reduce my autosaves to every half year now. Because I feel like I haven't crashed in CK2 in a long time, so this will be nice. Stop getting those annoying pop-ups. Alright, kill him! Kill him! Kill her, sorry, kill her! Kill King Hungifu! Uh, shame on a nice carriage. No one can tie me to the event. Now, let's see if there's any chance we have higher plot power against you. Of course not. We can bribe the princess. The nun. Ah, I remember her. Charlotte. Charlotte's willing to kill him. Spymaster loves him, of course. Uh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Perhaps if we just kill you. Can't really bribe anyone. Let's at least let that plot be happening. We're negative 6% now, mostly, actually, on, entirely due to ticking war score. Our two little counts don't really matter. We've got to get King Rainbow to just back off, man. Would you go away? He picked up, yeah, look at that. He, he picked up a wife with three intrigue who uh, doesn't like him very much. Zealous infidel, short reign. All right, so maybe she's willing to kill him. My niece needs a guardian. She's not going to be worth anything. We'll educate her ourselves, though, just so we have something to do. Let's cancel this one for a moment and see if the plot power has changed over here. No, it has not. Just out of curiosity, though, again, I do I do want to see if maybe... 
she has plot power. We're looking for the wife. She only has 10%. No, that's no, that's another princess, I'm sorry. Queen of France only has 5%. She's got pretty low plot power. She would be bribable, most likely. Romova? Why would you marry a Romovan woman? Doesn't make any sense, does it? A lowborn Letigalian. What the hell? A lowborn Letigalian zealous character. I don't get it. It makes no sense. Alternatively, we could just try to assassinate him with a 12% chance. If we put our spy master there, it'd be a bit better. Uh, 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 unlanded character over my son who wants to be chancellor. It's not nearly as good as my kinsman. We'll make you into the tithe collector. Best income is in that province. That's interesting. Wouldn't have expected that. Okay. Um, Marshall's fine. You're fine. Spymaster's pretty crap. But he's landed. And he's my brother. We don't want to piss him off. So how are we going to swing this? How are we going to win against insurmountable odds? Hmm. Who is your heir anyway? Who's a woman? It's an older sister. I feel like if she if he dies, then that that's just gonna be good for us. And actually killing King Rainbow is probably not even gonna get them out of the war. The other thing we could do is try to marry into an alliance. My wife, the princess of Aquitaine, given me quite a few children. She's 42, though. All boys. Okay, here's an idea. I'm going to cancel that plot. And instead, we're going to kill our wife. Princess of Aquitaine. Why are you and my, my cousin? Why? Oh my... She wants to kill him. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Who else can we bribe? We need more people. We need to kill my wife. Actually, you know, we don't necessarily need to kill her. She does have 81 gold, though. I would kind of like that money. I wonder if maybe it'd be easier just to divorce her. Being an insult to relatives costs us piety. Hmm. To kill her... Or not. I mean, we'd have to spend... How much would we have to spend? 20 gold there. 20 gold there. So you basically spend 40 gold to gain 80 gold, and then kill the wife. The wife having a claim on the Kingdom of Aquitaine would then pass on her claim to my kids right away, which is kind of good. I think we just divorce her. I think it makes more sense, since we can do it. So why divorce her, right? Why, why am I doing this? What's the point? Well, if you can't beat him, join him! I didn't mean to click I promise to arrange it, darn it. Now I'm going to have to really piss him off. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to try to find a way to marry into another one of the Carlings. And we're just going to fight Carling versus Carling. Or maybe Asturias. And they don't have enough power. Italy is probably the only one we can really do. And they don't have enough power. And... Okay, so the King of Italy does have a sister who's 31, unmarried. I want to marry you, woman. Come to me. This will make us allies. We'll take the prestige or the money? We're losing money a month right now. I think we really need the money. Okay, so now you're my ally. Call to arms. Maybe. Too far away. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to offer to join his war. To make him like us better. We're going to... Oh god, he's expensive. He's betrothed to my sister. I've already tried to do this, haven't I? Yeah, well, my way gives us the alliance quicker. We're going to improve relations here now and try to try to do it. We've offered to join his war so that he likes us more, so that he's more likely to join our war. Too far away in base reluctance. He's got five pluses versus four minuses. Kind of a risk. 
Let's wait until his independence war is over, and then he might be more likely. He's currently at war with the single county dude right there. But joining his war gives us quite a bit of bonus opinion. Joined my war, plus 25. Ah, sure, you can be content. It's fine with me. As soon as he wins his war, we're going to think about trying to call him. And I'm a little bit concerned that he's not going to have enough troops to actually offset France. So we might also need to try to work on getting an alliance over here with Germany. How could we do that? Well, let's see. You have a son who's married. You have multiple daughters who are all probably married. Yes, they are. You have no living real relatives. You do have a sister who's 41 and married. I'd have to murder some people, which I'd be perfectly fine with doing. Both my firstborn. Okay, so we have a 15 year old who's turning in August. Maybe we can do something with him. He's arbitrary, he's a little bit angry and fat, and he's proud of his fatness. But he's diligent, so that's good. Okay, so we can call in Oriole. You do have, actually, four counties. Should probably make you like us better. Could we bribe you? 83 gold. Alright, how can we swing this? I think we just try, really, with him. Now he's not going to join, there's no point. No point. And we don't really need to improve relations with the king over there, because he's already at 97. So yeah, let's try to improve relations with this guy. And in August, four more months, we will hopefully be able to marry off my son to one of these women. So let's see if we can't murder one of these women's husbands. There we go. That duke's about to go. Get out of here, Duke man. Nobody likes you. Countess Ruthie has declared the Bedford and Bedford or League Independence War on King Rainbow. Yay! An independence war? That's wonderful. Whoa, what is that? Why is the army of Duke Bjorn of Gelry? Why are you over here? And why are you fighting against Italy? Why is this guy? <laughs> what? This guy, like some some guy, like came over here. Oh, okay. So he raised his army here. Okay, he's part of the war. I get it. It's actually his war. It's an independence war for him against Italy. Right up, up, right up, up in our stuff. But what I care about is this war here. He is now dealing with an internal conflict against Duchess Wolfrich of Berry and Duke Osmond of Flanders. So Duke Osmond has risen up against him as well as the Duchess from up here. Or the Countess, rather. Actually, she is a Duchess just because her husband is married to him. But anyway, the point, the point, I'm getting distracted here. The point is that he's lost some power. He's down to 12,000 now. So yeah, if we can get Italy involved, it will be very good. I'm just a bit concerned. He was he was actually higher. But now it's going back in the opposite direction. You need to win. Would you please win? King Juan has accepted King Rainbow of France's call to arms. So King Juan... So we're seeing Asturias not fighting against us, but fighting against the Independence War. Failed to murder that duke. King Lothair of Italy 
has accepted his call. Damn. So he's actually defending France against the independence war. So because they're defending, they're on the same side in this war, now I have to wait until the independence war is over before I can call in Italy. It's very complicated, but we're going we're gonna to get through it. Ooh, and that improved relation might be enough to actually get him to join. Yep, good. Join us. There's my son coming of age. And we're just waiting on that plot to happen so we can get Italy on our side. To the great king Sionfauer from Captain Osulf of the Saxon Band, the inability of our previous employer to provide our contractual pay has caused us to look to look for employment elsewhere. We would serve your majesty if you would have us. How opportune. Interesting. So we've just gained a stack of 992 men. Um, unfortunately, they're already at bat in battle over there. Oh, jeez. Do, uh, do we have to take care of this thing first? I mean, it seems like we do. It's really not what I was expecting to do. I wanted to take advantage of this army down here and just go siege Aquitaine. Oh, this is over, Aquitaine. Alright, come on. Kill that woman. Kill that man. Good but bad. So we got caught plotting against that guy. But the guy that we killed was this guy he's not gonna he's he knows I'm dishonorable, but it's you know this guy's family, Von Babenberg, that's gonna be the most upset. So like this guy. Murdered eh, he doesn't even actually care. Alright, whatever. So you I want you to marry my son. Come on over. And do we even... actually, it looks like there's enough troops there that they can take him. Do we actually not load them in? I must not have. Alright, so now we have Germany as an ally. Who likes us more than our enemy. Yeah, there we go. Let's call them in. Better say yes. You better say yes. Of course I will honor my obligations and answer your call to war. Excellent. So now we have Germany. Yeah, fighting against France. And he is actually not a Carling, so that's good for us. So, cool. I'm going to take a break here. Hopefully in the next video we're going to be able to crush France, France and then take Aquitaine. It's going to be glorious. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.